Hi, I'm Ian Stadness, and I'm a postdoc at Symbios, and I study how uh, people move. And it, I'm working on the OpenSim project where we create computer simulations of the human body and how the human body moves. And we're interested in simulating uh, this musculoskeletal system uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, there's clinical applications where we can try to better understand the problems that people have with certain movement disorders. And we also are interested in, in trying to improve the performance of elite athletes. My research focuses on simulating the impact of muscles. And muscles are the things that create forces that generate movement. Um, my research deals in particular with studying how muscles um, wrap around bones and distribute forces uh, onto the body. So if we have a, a bone, we have muscles that we represent in our computer simulations as lines or cables. And these muscles will attach to bones, um, but they'll also wrap around the bone surface. And then as the bones move, the muscles uh, slide or move along the, uh, along the bone surfaces. And this path that the muscle takes is important for a couple reasons. The first is that muscle length and the rate of length change of a muscle has an important uh, impact on the amount of force that a muscle can generate. So a muscle that's really stretched uh, or really shortened can generate less force than a muscle like at an optimal length. Uh, the other reason that the path is important is that the, the path the muscle takes determines how the forces are transmitted to bones and how movement is actually created. So previous techniques that people have used to represent muscle paths have either been with approximate techniques to calculate the path, and these can lead to inaccuracies in the simulation or significant slowdowns in the simulation. So it takes much more time to simulate. Uh, other people have just used really simple shapes to represent bones, so just a single sphere or one or two cylinders. And the techniques that we're working on are a very general formulation where we can calculate muscle wrapping around uh, arbitrary types of bone surfaces and a number of bone surfaces uh, together. This is an example muscle wrapping solution for a large number of surfaces that would represent intermediate bones that a muscle wraps around. So we start here at the insertion point of the muscle and we find the path of the muscle as it smoothly wraps around all of the intermediate cylinders and sphere surfaces. And so here you can see we can wrap around a large number of simple shapes. We can also wrap around more complex shapes like ellipsoids in this case. Again, we have a smooth path wrapping around these three ellipsoids. And then we can do even more complex shapes like these um, bicubic spline surfaces. Uh, here's two of them that we want wrap smoothly around and these are the types of surfaces that could be fit to a specific person's uh, bone shape. So this is a video showing multiple cylinders being wrapped by the muscle wrapping path. So here the cylinders are moving and you could imagine those would be the movement of uh, bones in the body. And as the bones move the um, path of the muscle changes as does its length and it, the rate of length change. So here you could imagine the muscle would be exerting force on the bones. And uh, the computational techniques that we're developing uh, should improve both the accuracy and performance of musculoskeletal, musculoskeletal simulations.